Okay, today I'm going to build a 5 GPU mining rig. I got the GPUs, I got the motherboard. I'm actually even going to build the case. It's my first time building one of these cases, so we're going to go through this together. I've seen pictures, and I think these should fit together fine. So I have an idea of what I want to do here. Just gonna build a frame pretty much. I just bought these from Lowe's. Got these aluminum brackets. And I cut them in half. Not really in half, but what are these 16? 15 inches for this piece. This is 21. So I'm just gonna build a frame like so. I'm gonna screw these together. The self tapping screws work really well. I'm hoping they're going to work really well. This is just aluminum. So it should be no problem. Which way should I go? If I want to do this, I can put some boards in here. I actually should cut the boards right now. That way I can screw this through the board. You know what? I'm going to need a couple more pieces. So I got enough for the top and bottom, but I did not get any for the legs. So I need another one of these. So let me do that and I will be back. Okay, I'm back. Render Lowe's got two more of these pieces. These are one by three feet. So one sixteenth, one inch by three feet long. And I'm gonna cut, I think I'm gonna make it about 10 inches high. That should be plenty. So I'll do, actually make it 11 inches. So it's gonna be around Yeah, I'll do 11 inches. So it'll be about this high. Because we got the cards that these are going to go in there. Let's see. We have the risers. Actually, I'm going to make this 12 inches. So I'm going to cut this into four 12 inch pieces. Do not have coffee on the table when you're sawing. I spilled my cup of coffee all over. So now let me clean that up. Cheers. Okay, I have all the pieces cut. 
Now what I'm gonna do is cut a couple one by pieces and put in here, probably three. Probably put one here, one here, and one here. Maybe four actually. So it looks like 15 inches will fit. So I have this one by, just one by pine. I'm gonna use this as kind of the base. I'm gonna mount the motherboard to this. I'm gonna go cut these on the, I'm gonna cut these on the chop saw, be much faster. So let's go do that. Okay, have the pieces cut. These are gonna slide in here for the base. So let's do the bottom piece first. Keep tightening it up until the board tightens up with the aluminum. Should have a nice tight fit. So you want to make sure these are square on this edge. You want it really flush here and everything tight against each other. I can't see it on the camera barely. We should have put those in there. Can't put them on the outside. Guess for this one we're gonna put them on the outside. Don't get your pieces mixed up. These are the four legs. These will be the legs. So let's build another top piece like that. Actually, the top is not going to have the wood. The top is just going to be aluminum. Okay, this would be our top. I just want to get all these little pieces out of here. I'm going to tilt this down a little bit so you can see this a little better. Okay, so this would be the top. There's the bottom. Now I just got to make the legs. We will put like this. This over here you should be able to see what I'm doing. Some screws. I'm going to want to hold this and screw it. 
screw this into there. Push as hard as you can without pushing the piece away. Here we go. But then I have one more piece I need to put across here, which is going to, let me show you. Okay, so this piece is going to mount here, and this is what we're gonna use for the graphic card, to hold the graphics card. Okay, had to go back to the store. I'm going to put a complete list of the parts you'll need to build this open air case. I'll put it in maybe the description or I'll put it as a screenshot. So you can pause it and get the list, but pretty much I had to get a couple more of these one inch aluminum corner brackets because I need to add a place for the GPU to sit So let me show you In this rig you're gonna need this is a five GPU rig. So you're gonna need five of these risers I can put a link of where you can buy these in the description too These pretty much let you extend the graphics card away from the motherboard So that gives you more room I'm sure you've seen other rigs so you kind of know what to expect and this is the riser part anyways comes in these parts we'll hook these up later but right now I'm just getting the measurement so I'm gonna put this on the graphics card as I would if I'm building the rig snap that in there and Gonna sit like this, and I just want to see how much space we have. Looks like five inches. First of all, I'm gonna mount this. So we'll just make a mark. So we put this same spot. So let's come inch and a half down. And then from that we want to come four and three eighths. So I'm gonna do be nice if the marker worked when you need it. And then come to the top. Okay, so four and three seems to be the distance from the bottom of this card to the top of this little riser. So what we need to do, get a pen, mark down. Four and three eighths. Right there, then we can use this to square it around. 
Just a nice marking. Okay, now we're gonna mount this bar. It's gonna come in here. And go right across like that. And that's the last piece we need to screw on, which is going to support the graphics cards when they're lined up across here. So let me see if I can get this camera set up at an angle and you can Watch it so you can understand better how it's going to work together. So that's going to go in there. We want it to come out what? Five in four inches so it rests right there. Get the pen. Just come out four and a half inches. Four and a half inches on this side, and four and a half inches on this side. Use a little piece of this to uh, as a straight edge. Doesn't have to be perfect. You know, just a basic line so you know where to put the bar. Then we're gonna take it. at an angle. Would have been better to do this before I put this piece in. But let's see if we can do this. Actually, I'm going to take these off. My phone overheated and it stopped recording, but I finished it up. Here we go. This is the case. That cost about $50 in parts. It's not too bad. So now we're going to assemble it. I purchased a GPU mining rig with ETH OS from GPU Shack. Um, I'll put a link in the description. But they provide a nice little bundle. <clears throat> Comes with EthOS. Um, it's a really easy operating system that um, just starts mining. You know, you just can edit one configuration file to set your pool, and boom, you're up and running. So I'm going to set this camera up. I'm going to get this. Uh, we're going to put the processor and the motherboard, part of the RAM in here, and then uh, got this power supply we're going to hook up, and then five GPUs. Then we'll hook it to the monitor and see if we can get this thing mining.
One, two, three, four, five. <clears throat> We're gonna util utilize all these. <clears throat> This hard drive comes with EthOS installed on it. It's only a 16 gigabyte, but that's all you need for what we're gonna be doing with this. So let's get this processor installed. Open up this little lever. These processors can only go in one way, so it's hard to mess it up unless you force it. Never force it in the socket. Once it's in the right position, it'll just fall right in. There's these fine little pins. So, usually there's a triangle right here that might be in this top right corner. No. I need to slightly turn it around. Don't force it, just gently. Once it's in the correct spot, it's just gonna fall down. Hmm. Oh, you can see these little notches too. And then there's some notches on the... Each one of these are a little different, so let's do that. Match those notches up with these, and I bet this is the one. It's got to be the one, actually. There it goes, kind of fell right down. Then just close this, kind of like a little mouse trap. Now we'll put the RAM in. Usually if you're only doing two sticks, there's a little diagram here. Let's see. First, so DIM 1 and DIM 3. So that means this slot and then the third slot. So let's put these in. Just gently press it. You can see there's a groove on the board and then there's a groove in the slot. Pretty much just line those grooves up. Again, we want one with the first one, then the third one. Let me push that. Okay. Now we're going to do the heat sink. Comes with some thermal paste that had some stuff on it, but looks like it'll work. Okay, thermal paste looks good. We're gonna apply the heat sink to the processor. Kind of set that in there. This piece will lock into that. This 
blanket? What are you doing? Yeah, that one. What do you want? Let's cut it in half. And gently push this down so this is flat. It'll lock it in place. Then you want to take this, plug it in here. Let's wrap the wires there for now. Okay, RAM processor. Let's see where we're going to put this. I did pretty good. Set that there. Okay, now I'm going to take a little sharpie and mark all these holes. So I can put some little standoffs, those little gold standoffs I'll show you in a minute. Sharpie doesn't reach, but some of these. So I'm gonna place some of those on the board just to raise it up a little bit. Just take a little drill, just drill these holes. Okay, I got this all wired. These plugs that are going to go to the graphics cards, all into the power supply. I actually removed this top piece. It was in here like this. And since we added this, and I want these to be stackable, I'm just going to remove this top piece and use this piece. So it's going to end up looking like that. You can see it. And then I'm going to put some holes. Along here. So I'm going to put five. I'm going to start here and put five holes. Screw those into there and then put the risers in. So I'm going to do that now. They ended up making these holes three inches apart. Now I'm going to go ahead and drill them. You want to put the paper to catch all the little pieces. You don't want these little pieces in the middle. Get into the motherboard. Now we need the risers.
Okay, it's getting close. That's pretty much how it's gonna look. You know, I just gotta plug these in now. Okay, now we need to hook up the power and the USB to the risers. I just noticed on these risers that they have these power adapters that are prone to fires. So if you see how this is um, all molded plastic, it's molded around the wire. There have been circumstances where these have actually <coughs> melted together and started a fire so i'm gonna i'm gonna use these in a, but i'm gonna watch it <clears throat> i'm gonna check these and probably replace these after i get some different ones the better kind of connectors have the metal like on this end it has metal separators and they slip in there that seems to be a safer setup than these molded wires anyways what we're gonna do we need five more serial adapters or SATA adapters. So this has one, two, three. We need five. So here we go. So we gotta plug these into the power supply. And then I'll show you how these hooked up. I mean, okay, we're gonna plug the risers in. So what we're gonna do is come through and plug all these power adapters into each one of these riser plugs. So I'm just going to show you one and then I'll do the rest and so you plug the USB in the other riser you take this this part of the USB plug it in that this is what's going to plug in your motherboard for the graphics card so this cable out of here. And then we slide it right in like that. And then the power cord. You plug in just like any other power cord. Boom. Okay, now I'm going to do the rest. Okay, the rig is complete. There it is. Getting ready to power it up. I'm going to plug the power cable in. I'm going to hook a keyboard and mouse up. And then hook it to this monitor. This rig is running this now. But I'm going to plug it in. And then we'll fire it up. Okay, this was the default card. Um, we got it booting up here. Everything looks good so far. Once it starts up, I'm gonna have to go into the configuration and change the pool address and the pavement address. So I'm gonna update that. So once you get into Ethos, this is going to, it's a basic Unix command terminal window. 
If you type ls, it's going to show you the contents of that directory you're in. So you want to do, I use nano to edit the local config. So I'm going to change the pool and the proxy wallet. So you should do the same, just update those on yours. Okay, it's only recognizing It's only recognizing three video cards. So I'm thinking I need to go into the BIOS. Okay. All five cards are showing. My phone battery keeps dying, I had to plug it in. Looks like 15, so let's give it a minute, let the hash start building up. They should be around 20 each. There it is. 98.5 hash, miners are active. Up and running. And that's how you build a mining rig. This one's gonna mine ether coins right now. Could switch it over to some other coins, but for now, it's gonna be doing ether coins. This rig over here is doing about 80. Mega hash, this one is about, so I got about 180 together here. Okay, I just noticed that I'm not getting credit for the mining that's happening, so I went and looked at the address for the pay, payment address I put in there and it got reset. And I forgot that Ethos will reset the local config if you do not turn off the remote config. So I'm not using the remote config right now. It's a cool feature that you might want to, but I need to go back in and enter this command that's highlighted. So I'm gonna go re-enter that and then uh, restart this. Okay, finally caught up. We got 103 hash and it's running great. So yeah, there it is. <clears throat> if you have any questions, let me know. Um, but yeah. Peace.